just a few days ago. SpaceX stacked Starship SN20 on top of Booster 4, and just yesterday, they unstacked or destacked Starship SN20 from Booster 4. So why did they do that? Well, they did something absolutely amazing. And they did a test of Ship 20 and Booster 4 that was groundbreaking and monumental. They did a full stacked cryogenic test of Booster 4 Super Heavy Starship SN20 the last few days. Now, what are they going to be doing for the next few days? We have road closures coming up because they de-stacked Ship 20 from Booster 4. And it was early in the morning when it was dark out. Nobody was out there. They de-stacked. They took Ship 20 off of Booster 4 and put it right next to the booster. They used the catch arms, the chopsticks, if you will. And they put it right back down on the ground. Now, Ship 20, they did a full stack Starship test the other day. Full stack cryoproof test. Absolutely important. Now, what could they be doing with Ship 20 and Booster 4 going forward? We have all week next week. This week, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., there's road closure scheduled for Highway 4. So that means that they're going to be doing testing again, possibly on Booster 4, possibly on Ship 20. Now, Ship 20 and Booster 4 both have five cryogenic tests to their names. Could they be doing more cryogenic tests for Booster 4 and Ship 20 to test them after the full stack cryogenic test? It's a total possibility. They could be doing one more cryogenic test for Booster 4. That could be on Monday. They could be doing another cryogenic test for Ship 20. That could be on Tuesday or Wednesday. So primary dates, while the primary date was actually March 18th, Monday and Tuesday were secondary days for that primary date. Wednesday is the next primary date for testing. So it's possible, and I've talked about this a million times, that they just kind of skim over the day and possibly close the road later if they have something to do. So they may take a little while before these road closures happen, before the testing starts. Some days a 10 a.m. road closure ends up being a 4 p.m. road closure till 10 p.m. I've been down there personally when they say that the road closure is going to be at 10 o'clock a.m. I'm down there at about 930 and I'm still filming at about noon. So it's possible that these 10 a.m. road closures end up being a little bit later on in the day, but they could be doing some more testing, load testing of Booster 4 and Ship 20 going forward. They could also be moving Ship 20 or Booster 4 out of the launch site. There's been speculation for a very long time that Booster 4 and Ship 20 will not fly. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Do you think Ship 20 and Booster 4 will fly? Do you think they'll be doing the first orbital flight test where Booster 4 launches and then lands in the Gulf of Mexico and Ship 20 launches and then lands in Kauai. Do you think that's going to happen? Or do you think they're going to move on to another ship and another booster? And if so, let me know in the comments which ship and booster you think they're going to move on to. Now, let me preface this with something else, too. I guess it's not a preface. It's after the fact, after I ask you the question. What if... They move on to the next booster to the next, next ship. It may take them months to get up to speed to where booster four and ship 20 are. So if they're going to be doing that, we may possibly get a postponement of this launch, this orbital flight test. So let me know in the comments what you think. Now let's move on from what we think is going to happen to something else that just happened on Twitter the other day. Space Hub, at Space Hub underscore SL on March 14th, uh, posted a picture. 1969 had a, a moon landing photo, and then 2000 
underscore underscore question mark saying, uh, what's your guess, Elon Musk? Ask it, basically asking Elon Musk, when Starship will land on Mars, will land people on the surface of Mars? Elon Musk replied, 2029. We have about seven years, possibly, before we see people on the surface of Mars, if this goes as planned. There's a lot to be done between now and 2029 in order for this to happen. Now, there's a Polaris program coming up. This will be the first human flight test of a starship. This is with Jarrett Isaacman and the rest of his crew. We're not sure exactly what the crew will be, but Jared Eisenman is in charge of everything over there. So the Polaris program, the Polaris 3, I believe it's called, um, Polaris Project 3, or Program 3, Mission 3, uh, be the first human space flight of Starship, the world's first reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the moon, Mars, and beyond. So what they're going to be doing with this is they're going to be doing an orbit of the Earth, multiple orbits, more than likely. Now, is it possible that they launch these people, regular people, the crew of the Mission 3 for the Polaris program, will they be launching them in a starship? Or will they be launching them in a crew dragon and then docking with a starship? Okay, so what we know so far is that there's only, that we know that there's a mission with a starship. That's what I, that's what I know so far. And will they be fully in the Starship when they launch? If you know more than I know, please let me know in the comments. But is it possible uh, that they dock with the Starship uh, with the uh, Crew Dragon? Because remember, Starship will have to dock with the Artemis program. Maybe this could be a test for that. Maybe Starship in the Polaris Dawn program or the Polaris program, mission three, we'll be testing that somewhat. So we'll see, but I'm, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the, uh, the team of it's a full starship flight. It's a full starship flight. I don't think they're going to dock a dragon. There's some rumors around the docking of the dragon thing, but I think it's going to be a full starship flight. So let me know what you think as well. I think it's going to be cool. I think ship 20 booster four are going to fly. That's, that's just me ship 20 booster four are going to fly and starship will fly with people in it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care. <laughs>